You've most likely seen a pond before, and you might even have one in your backyard. These still and fresh bodies of water are quite relaxing to look at, and they also provide a habitat for various animals. Usually, there's nothing interesting about them, but occasionally, we discover the most unexpected things in these waters. From the devil's bath to a terrifying brain-eating organism, here are the 15 strangest things recently discovered in ponds. Number 15. The Devil's Bath There are a few colors in nature that we're naturally curious about. For instance, seeing a body of water with a nuclear green color is automatically a no-no. But did you know that an attraction in New Zealand became famous because of its weird radioactive hue? The Weyotapu Park is home to a variety of geothermal attractions, and one of them is known as the Devil's Bath, a befitting name for its treacherous and chemical-colored water. Unlike most ponds, this one is an eye-catching neon green color. And yes, it's as putrid as it looks. The Devil's Bath is a colored pond that came to be 200,000 years ago after intense geological activity. Its strange yellow-green color is caused by chemical deposits within the crater that are mixed with a variety of minerals in the soil. The iron in the water gives it an incredible greenish shade, while its sulfur content gives it a bright shade of yellow. On some days, the color of the pond will change to a more yellowish hue, making it look like a giant magic potion. This happens when the sun's rays and the minerals in the water change. Although it's known as the Devil's Bath, the name of the park it belongs to actually means sacred waters in the Maori language. Despite its name, there's nothing sinister about this pond. In fact, it's a popular geothermal attraction in the reserve, especially for kids who marvel at how strange nature can be sometimes. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Strange Friendship We've all had strange companions before, but perhaps there's no relation stranger than what these two have. Tim Jones is an old man who, instead of shooing away the snake living in the pond nearby, decided to befriend it. The man saw the diamondback water snake in the pond one day, and ever since, he made a habit to feed the animal. In fact, He's so comfortable with the creature that he has no problem feeding the reptile right out of his hand. According to Jones, the snake isn't venomous at all, and he also makes sure to be cautious while interacting with his reptile friend. Each time he ventures near the water, he makes sure to secure his pant legs to make sure that the reptile doesn't slither in. Feeding a wild animal, especially a snake, might seem like a crazy idea for most people, but Jones is quite different. Jones shared that he's a retired zoo director and he's used to dealing with different animals. Even so, the fact that the local water snake remembered him made him incredibly delighted. Diamondback water snakes, just like other snakes, aren't inherently friendly. These guys can grow quite large, up to 122 centimeters. They can live up to 10 years, so if you ever befriend one just like this guy, you'll have a long-lasting companionship. But don't get me wrong. This species of snake isn't among the top 10 choices if you want to have a pet snake, so you still shouldn't approach one of them recklessly. Number 13. Skull and Duck Pond Turned Out to Be an Archaeological Object In 2022, a man made a surprising discovery when he stumbled upon a human skull in a duck pond in Fulstow, Lancashire, United Kingdom. The locals immediately sent the skull to the authorities for further examination in fear that the bone belonged to the remains of a murder victim. However, the conclusion of the analysis was more surprising. It turned out that the skull didn't belong to a person who lived in the 21st century. It belonged to an individual who lived during the Roman period, between AD 276 and 342. Further studies are still ongoing because there are a couple of strange details about the skull. It was strange how the skull was the only bone found in the duck pond and nothing else. Where are the rest of the individual's remains? Was he brutally killed and punished? How did he end up with such a tragic fate? These questions remain unanswered to this day. Number 12. People Missing Since 1997 Found in Local Pond In 2019, an internet user put an end to a decades-long mystery with the help of Google Maps. If you travel a lot, then you might have been saved from being lost by this website. But it seems that Google Maps has more functions than just giving directions. Google Maps utilizes photos taken by vehicles on land, and they also use satellite and aerial images taken by cameras on satellites and aircraft. This was how a Florida man discovered a car that was submerged in their local pond for more than two decades. The man was browsing Google Maps when he noticed a strange figure under the water of the local pond. 
It was then that he decided to call his friend and let them know about the possible vehicle submerged in the water. Using a drone, the two locals discovered that there really was a car in the pond. Authorities immediately responded to the scene, and what they pulled out of the pond was astounding. A 1994 Saturn SL, rusted and destroyed. But what was more baffling was the skeletal remains inside the vehicle. The two locals managed to solve a case that had been left unanswered for more than two decades. The remains inside the vehicle belonged to a man named William Moult, who was reported missing on November 8, 1997. According to official records, Moult went missing after visiting a nightclub 22 years before the vehicle was found. The last person that talked to Moult was his girlfriend around 9.30 p.m. the same night he disappeared. It was suspected that Moult got into an accident due to drunk driving, but those who knew the man insisted that he wasn't a heavy drinker. If it weren't for Google Maps satellite mapping software, perhaps the case of William Moult would have been unsolved to this day. This is not the first case that was solved thanks to Google Maps or other similar websites. In fact, there are still a lot of cars submerged in lakes and ponds in America waiting to be discovered. Number 11. Fish with Human Face There are a lot of strange underwater creatures, but most of them live in the deepest parts of the ocean. However, there are also a lot of weird creatures living in still water, like ponds. Take, for instance, this fish with a human face. One of these alleged humanoid underwater creatures was first spotted in a village in China. Needless to say, the woman who saw the fish with a human face was extremely surprised by what she saw underwater. Instead of a normal face, the fish seemed to have a pair of eyes on the front of its head, as well as a nose and a mouth. It seemed spooky at first and the photo of the human carp quickly spread around the internet like wildfire. But the truth is, there's no such thing as a human carp. If you look closely, the eyes of this fish are situated on each side of its head. What made this creature look human were its markings that coincidentally resemble a human face. Although this Chinese carp is the first human carp that made waves on the internet, there have been other cases of similar fish before. For instance, a silver humanoid carp was also found in the town of Chongju, South Korea. Although their markings are strange, there's nothing fishy going on with these creatures. Their markings are considered special though, and they're highly valued in the markets. In fact, one carp with humanoid markings found in Essex was sold for an astounding 40,000 pounds. Number 10. Monet's Pond Have you ever been to a place that looked incredibly familiar to you? Those who visit this pond in Itadori Sakishi, Japan must have felt as if they had visited the place before. It's because the pond looks like a stunning replica of a world-famous painting by the artist Monet. You might have seen this painting before. This is Monet's series of creations known as water lilies. It's composed of several artworks that Claude Monet created throughout his lifetime. Water lilies is one of the most iconic examples of Impressionism and Monet painted more than 250 artworks using these plants as subjects. The artist's work were the inspiration for Japan's lovely pond in the Gifu Prefecture. Monet's pond is arguably the most beautiful still body of water you'll ever see. Its water is crystal clear, with soft bluish and greenish hues. Its plants look incredibly vibrant underwater, and the bright koi fish swimming around makes the pond look surreal. And of course, the water lilies floating at its surface also contribute to its dreamy appearance. This body of water is so breathtaking that many people initially mistake it for an artificial attraction. However, this 60-foot-long pond is naturally beautiful, and it's also a coincidence that it looks like a Monet artwork. Number 9. Alien Brain-Like Ponds The locals living near a pond in Canada were horrified to discover strange floating brain-like creatures in the water that all seemingly appeared overnight. Because of how quickly they dominated the local pond, homeowners living near the area were immediately concerned. Just like a case straight out of an occult horror movie, the brain-like blobs looked incredibly disturbing. In fact, it really resembled the human organ from afar. But what exactly are these creatures? These brain-like blobs are a type of bryozoan, these creatures may look like disembodied brains, but they're actually a whole colony of thousands of tiny organisms living together as one. This creature starts as a single organism, but it can quickly reproduce asexually to form other jiggly and goopy organisms. To this day, we know very little about their origin, distribution, or how they affect the environment they're in. This proves how rare these creatures are in their natural environment. In fact, these brain-like organisms have a long history, 
dating back 470 million years in the fossil record, and yet we know so little about them. So if you ever have a brain invasion in your pond, there might be nothing you can do but wait for them to disappear on their own. Even experts are still unsure whether they're considered harmful, but so far that doesn't seem to be the case. These creatures seem to thrive in still murky waters where they can use their color to blend in, thanks to their hideous appearance. Most predators aren't really inclined to eat them. Number 8. 2,400-Year-Old Sacrificial Victim In 1950, several workers discovered the well-preserved remains of a man from a peat bog in north-central Denmark. The body was so incredibly intact that the locals believed it belonged to a recent murder victim. The face of the remains looked like it belonged to someone who passed not too long ago. The man's facial hair even remained intact. Today, the remains are known as the Tullin Man, one of the most famous bog bodies discovered in Europe. Between 30 and 40 years old at the time of his death, the Tullin Man suffered a pitiful fate between 405 and 380 BCE. He is one of the many sacrificial victims who died a horrible death. Archaeologists found a leather noose wrapped around the man's neck, which suggested he died by hanging. After his last breath, the Tullin Man was carefully placed in a peat-cutting pit in a sleeping position. Strangely enough, the Tullin Man had a peaceful expression on his face, despite being killed. Peat bogs are strangely good at preserving human remains. Their pH levels are acidic, which preserves human bodies, just as how vinegar and brine solutions preserve fruit by pickling it. That's kind of a strange comparison, but that's the best way to put it. Peat bogs can preserve the human body to the point where the victim's last meal remains identifiable, even though thousands of years have passed. In fact, researchers still manage to find out the last meal of the Tullin Man. In his last moments, the man ate a meal of porridge and fish. They also found whipworms and mawworms in the man's body, as well as the first ever reported case of tapeworm found in a preserved bog. Number 7. The Frog Army Humans are compassionate creatures, and it's normal for us to help other humans and animals in need. However, there are rare moments when our urge to help does more harm than good. In 2022, a man allegedly found the local pond near his house drying up. In the small puddle of water were hundreds of frog eggs that would die once the water disappeared. Most people would leave it alone, but the man decided to do the opposite. He ended up scooping up the frog eggs and took them home. That was the moment he became inspired to pick up more frog eggs and create what he called the largest frog army in history. It sounded like a bad idea, but unfortunately it seemed like no one stopped the man from proceeding with his plan. Over the next few days, the man, who was living in the United Kingdom, posted a series of videos to the internet showing his progress creating the largest frog army. Less than a week later, he collected more than 1.4 million frog eggs and put them in the pond in his backyard. You would think that only the man would suffer from the obvious consequences of keeping millions of amphibians in his yard, but that wasn't the case. After several hundred of the eggs hatched and the tadpoles turned into young frogs, the man's neighbors began having hundreds of unwelcome frog visitors in their own yards and at their doorsteps. It didn't take long until the man garnered the attention of biologists and experts from all around the world who expressed their disappointment and objections to the man's collection of frogs. The man might have thought that he was only doing a simple prank, but he was actually destroying the local environment and also disturbing his entire neighborhood. A lot of negative consequences came out of the alleged internet stunt including impending lawsuits. I think it's already an obvious fact, but it's better to leave the frog population in their natural habitat. Number 6. Swamp Monsters According to Roman philosopher and scholar Cicero, art is born of the observation and investigation of nature. For many artists, including sculptor Sophie Prestigiacomo, this much is true. Sophie has always been fond of observing nature and observing her surroundings, along with the changing seasons. It's what inspired her to create some rather unusual sculptures made from things found in nature. Walking along the still waters in the Marshes Nature Reserve of Senna in France is a thrilling experience because of the several swamp monsters in the area. These monsters look like creatures who just emerged from the murky waters to observe the visitors walking around the reserve. Several of them are masterfully petrified in a pose as if they're alive. All of these figures are none other than Sophie's creations. Each one is made with mud and seaweed. As time goes by, these natural sculptures change along with the landscape they inhabit. This goes to show the artist's ingenuity and creativity. 
Number 5. Mastodon Skeleton When 40-year-old Larry Lozier decided to dredge and improve the pond in his backyard in New York, he didn't expect to discover something incredible. While deepening the pond, Larry stumbled upon what looked like a massive log, but after clearing out the muddy water, he discovered a large knobby joint. Larry initially thought that the bone he discovered was part of a massive animal, like a Clydesdale horse. But when his neighbor, who was knowledgeable about horses, came over and inspected the bone, it quickly turned out that it wasn't the case. Even the locals believed that he discovered nothing more than cow bone or something similar. It wasn't until a local archaeologist obliged to examine the bone that they discovered the startling truth. It turned out that he accidentally unearthed a well-preserved mastodon skeleton. There was a possibility that the pond where Larry discovered the mastodon remains formed 18,000 years ago, just when the last ice age was ending. The bone he discovered belonged to a behemoth of a mastodon that was about 9 feet tall. What's more interesting is that its bone showed signs of damage, indicating that it might have been butchered by the first humans in the Hudson Valley. Number 4. Ancient Ship Scientists observing the Vistula River in Poland were astonished upon the discovery of a large transport ship that was several hundred years old. Through sonar mounted on a motorboat, they spotted one of the rarest wrecks found in the country. The large wooden transport vessel was used from the 14th to 18th century and is considered to be one of the main watercraft used for transporting commodities at the time. In its heyday, this vessel carried up to 100 tons of goods in one go. The wreck measured 37 meters long and 6 meters wide. Its size and quality earned it a place among the rarest shipwrecks discovered in the country. Number 3. Millennium Old Native American Remains In 2014, a 14-year-old boy deepening a trout pond in their home in Salt Lake City, Utah discovered human remains. It turned out that the bones that the young boy uncovered held incredible significance as they belonged to a Native American or American Indian who lived in Salt Lake. According to experts, the bones were about 1,000 years old. However, it seemed like finding Native American remains wasn't unusual in the area as the valley had been occupied by humans for the last 10,000 years, or perhaps even more. Even so, archaeologists treasure each and every piece of human remains found in the area. The millennium-old bones found by the 14-year-old boy were retrieved by experts to be examined further in hopes to get more background information about the remains. Number 2. Selfie Pond There are a lot of Instagram-worthy spots all around the world, but this village pond in Indonesia is definitely among the best. How would you like to take a selfie with fish and underwater creatures in the background? At first glance, you would think that these pictures look edited because of how quirky they are but all of these were taken in a village pond in Indonesia. Located in the country's central Java region is a small pond that has some of the clearest water in the world. This small pond has water continuously flowing through it from 40 different springs, ensuring that it's always crystal clear. Before the pond turned into a popular attraction, the village suffered from high unemployment rates and poor income. But now, thanks to the continuous flow of tourists visiting the area, the village rakes in thousands of dollars annually. Number 1. Brain-Eating Amoeba There's a reason why you should never go into bodies of water recklessly, especially lakes, rivers, and ponds. You might miscalculate how deep they are, or you might encounter one of the many dangerous creatures that inhabit these environments, including crocodiles, alligators, and snapping turtles. However, the creature you should fear the most is something that the naked eye can't see. Its name is enough to alarm most people, the brain-eating amoeba, formerly known as Nagleria fowleri. This amoeba is a rare organism that can kill a human in a matter of weeks. What's more, it can end a person's life without the victim even knowing the cause. A man claimed to have lost his son due to this organism. His son was an adventurous person who enjoyed outdoor activities. After getting back home from a quick dip into a pond, the man's son suffered from headaches that progressively got worse as the days passed. After continuous headaches and a high fever, he passed away. Only after his death did experts determine the cause. While swimming in the pond, the young boy got infected by the brain-eating amoeba. Most cases of Nagleria fowleri often end with death. Once the amoeba reaches the brain, it begins destroying the brain tissue, which will lead to swelling and eventually death. You might be wondering why this organism isn't more well-known and treated as a public hazard. That's because infections are incredibly rare. 
There were 138 people who were infected with Nigleria fowleri in the United States between 1962 and 2015. That's an incredibly low number of victims. However, out of the 138, only three people survived. One of them was a 12-year-old girl from Arkansas who was infected in 2013. At the time, doctors used antifungal medications and an experimental drug to rid her of the amoeba. But how exactly does someone become infected with this organism? This amoeba isn't always attracted to humans. They like to live at the bottom of warm bodies of water, including warm lakes, ponds, and hot springs. However, they can also live in dirty and improperly chlorinated pools. It's perfectly fine for humans to ingest brain-eating amoeba-infested water because these creatures only become harmful if they enter the human body through a person's nose. To this day, researchers are still unsure how to eliminate this amoeba in bodies of water. And although chances of getting infected are immensely low, you can still protect yourself by not letting water go up your nose if you want to take a dip in warm fresh water. So which of these incredible finds surprised you the most? And have you ever found something strange in your local pond? Share your stories in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.